Hello friends, this is Ashwani Bhatia. Today I am going to tell you about the OOPS. What is OOPS? OOPS stands for Object Programming System. It is widely used for reusability. If we talk about OOPS, so OOPS is a standard of programming languages. It's like a backbone. So uh, in a OOPS, what are the terms we widely use? In OOPS, there are lots of terms which we widely use. Like we use class, we use we use instances, we use methods, inheritance, polymorphism. Access modifiers, static modifiers, cloning, abstraction. There are lots of terms like this which we widely use, etc. First we talk about what is class. Class is that area where all the instances will go. Object, object is that variable where we call the class. Instances. Instances is the area that is instances is defined inside the class. Methods are the functions. Inheritance Taking the properties of the parent class, the subclass is known as inheritance. Polymorphism. Polymorphism is used to value of the parent class by the subclass. Access modifiers are three public, private, and protected that is used to give the permission and instances of the class. Static modifier. If you want, if you want to uh, put some instances inside the class and you don't want that instances will be called without an object. We can call by the static modifiers. Cloning, reusability, abstraction, that becomes literal. So now, in this video, I have a question about the object oriented. So in this tutorial, we will find the class, we will create the object, and we will call some instances of the class. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Have a nice time to you. If you like our tutorial, please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.